Hi, I'm Kobe Jacobus, and today we're at the bunkhouse at Northeast Mountaineering. Today I'm going to go over how to tie a kiwi coil. Oftentimes you're doing this coil uh, if you're trying to take in rope, um, going from terrain where maybe you're climbing to an area where you need to uh, have a shorter section of rope for short roping or on glacier travel. So after we've tied in with our figure eight follow through knot, the next step would be to take in coils. First thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take one strand, I'm going to pull it relatively tight. Um, Go straight up and over one shoulder, pull it relatively tight. I'm going to take my other arm that does not have the rope, and I like to use the area between my forefinger and my thumb. And I'll kind of trap the rope in there, and I'm going to take in about six coils right over my head. And it's important when you're doing this that you don't have your arm too short, otherwise it won't fit around your whole body. So I like to go just past 90 degrees of a bend of my arm. For me, that works, works about right, and I keep my head nice and straight as well. Okay, so we've taken in our coils. At this point, I kind of give a little, little bit of a tug with, with uh, my left hand here that has the coils just to kind of straighten everything out, make sure it's all nice and neat. Um, I'm going to pinch the free end with this hand so it's part of the coil. I'm going to pass my free hand through. So now I've got um, the coils around my shoulder, so it's starting to look like our kiwi coil. Now the thing is, we need to tie off this free strand. In order to tie it off, we're going to take a, a bite of our free, end, free strand of rope. We're going to pass it through our belay loop. The next step is to take our free hand. Our free hand is going to go underneath all the rope we coiled in, and it's going to go underneath that original strand that we started with. I'm going to take the bite and pull it all the way through. So now it's around everything. And then all I'm going to do is tie it off with an overhand knot. And while there are multiple ways to tie this off, for today's purposes, we're going to do the most basic way to tie it off, which would be just an overhand knot. Once you've tied this off with an overhand, it's really important that you cinch this down by pulling on the free strand and then just kind of tightening everything up. Okay, now that we've tied our kiwi coil, it's really important to know how to get out of it, especially because we've taken all these um, coils of rope over our chest, similar to that of a mountaineer's coil. It creates quite a bit of twisting in the rope, and if we were to just throw the rope in the ground, it could create for some problems later on the rope, including a lot of twists and knots. The first step is to just undo our overhand knot. So all I'm just going to do is push the tail backwards, my knot comes undone. I can kind of pull my free strand. This original bite that we made is just going to pull all the way back through. Once the rope is free, I can release my arm. I can take all my coils of rope right off over my hand. It's really important that we just undo one coil at a time. And this avoids any uh, issues later on in the day of, of having a knot in the rope or any unnecessary twists or kinks. Usually the last couple strands here I can usually just kind of feed out and drop. This is Kobe Jacobus with Northeast Mountaineering. Uh, thanks for watching the video and feel free to check us out at www.nemountaineering.com.